It's freaking awesome. I'm, I'm so excited that I'm literally shaking for the things I want to share with you. Be prepared to... Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Immediately when we log in, we will notice the difference. And that's the old toolbar is completely gone and it's replaced with a new one. To the right, we have the magic, the masking. Here you will find the old typical filters like grad filter and radial filter. But at the top, you will find some new magic. AI and machine learning driven filter to automatically select skies and subject. But I'll show you. I'll add a new mask for subject. Immediately the subject is selected. I'll add a sky mask by selecting a new mask for sky. After just a few seconds, the entire sky is perfectly masked. I mean, it's going to change everything. I will do a quick duplicate of the subject mask. Then I'm going to invert it. That way I have selected everything but the subjects. And get ready. Here comes the new magic. You can add or subtract to a mask. So I'm going to subtract the sky, which means I have in just two automatic masks made it possible to influence everything in this image except the subject and the sky. And this is something that could take as much as 30 minutes in a complex image like this. And I would probably just open this in Photoshop to do some frequency separations. Of course, you can name your mask. This is also something that's tremendously helpful. Now I can just name my masks like sky surroundings and subjects. I'll just do some basic adjustments to play around just to show you that the different parts can be influenced so quickly once we have masked it. So I can sort of bring back my sky I can uh, lower clarity on my surroundings and I can make the subjects pop just with three simple masks we are one third into these features I hope you are as excited as I am and you can feel like the the possibilities what we can create with this uh, we need to go back so let's let's continue so let's switch image to a typical street photography and usually quite complex to mask I'll add a mask for subjects and it just takes seconds and they have done a perfect masks of four different subjects in completely different depth of fields. I mean, the guy at the behind is very dark and it still managed perfect mask. But this automation, you might think, okay, what if I just want to influence her? Because Lightroom helped us to select all the subjects. But let me show you, because they have thought about that as well. So I'm going to quickly duplicate this mask and I'm going to name this, let's call it Couple. I think that's a good name. And then I'm going to subtract with brush. And that's just our standard adjustment brush. I'll just paint away on that automatic mask with my subtracted adjustment brush filter. And just that easily, I have isolated two of the four automatically selected subjects. So I'll just duplicate my, let's call it master mask again. I'll do another subtract by brush. And this time I will sort of paint away the couple. And I'll also deselect the dude that's behind her. That way I have her in her separate specific mask. I'll do a third mask. You probably guessed this by now. And I'm going to do another brush subtraction. And here I'm going to deselect the couple and her. That way I have the dude in the background on his own mask. Let's name them. And just by that we have a couple one mask, a girl mask and a guy mask. Sorry for the naming. That means that we can right away sort of make changes individually on these three sort of in focus. I'll add a new mask. I'll use automatic mask for the subjects. Then I'll invert it. That way I have selected everything but the couple. For example, we could do some desaturation of the entire image except the couples if that's the look we want. So with these three different masks, I could, for example, decide that I want to drag down clarity on the couple where I can influence their saturation just to sort of shape my image very quickly. Then I can, for example, say that I want more saturation on her. I mean, don't mind if this is going to look good or bad. It's just an example that uh, with the new masking feature, it's extremely quickly to isolate different subjects within your image. And by that, we can very quickly tell a different story. Are we feeling it yet? I mean, how we can level and the way we can sort of interact, where we can add filters on filters and then subtract another mask from an subtracted and added mask. I mean, it is, it's almost too much. But you just wait, because we're not done yet. I need to show you, because this is like the final stretch. Please don't go anywhere now, because this is even more amazing. Back to Lightroom again. Let me show you with one last image. I'll add a mask for subject. Just look how quick that is. I'm not sure what they have fed this algorithm with. I want some. I'll add a mask for the sky. 
sky. Then I'm going to duplicate the subject mask and I'll invert it and I'm going to subtract on that from the sky and directly I have a mask for, for the entire background except the sky and this is something I feel is very common when I do edits in, in Lightroom. I don't want to affect the sky. I want to separate the sky from my sort of local adjustments because I might need to bring down for example highlights quite a bit to keep the sky intact. This way we can just with three automatic masks, one subtraction mask, I can make for example the entire image desaturated but keep the guy in the foreground. Then I can for example say I don't want any color in the sky and then I can move ahead by just selecting the, the mask for this foreground person. And then I can increase and do my adjustments just to make him pop. And for those of you that are wondering but what happened with the standard masking? Let's say I want to add a radial filter. That's very easy. All you have to do is create a new mask and then you just select radial gradient. It's a new name but it's the same feature. That way I can for example say I want to sort of add an artificial light source, increase the temperature a tiny bit to, to sort of simulate more sunshine. Then I realized I probably went a little bit overboard with the saturation on him once I added the grad filter. So I can just go back and dial it down. Amazing. I can honestly say that these new features in Lightroom and the way we can start to work with our photos will probably make me take pictures another way. This is this is a new level. It's a new dimension. I can't take it anymore. Let me show you one final thing with the new masking. I'll create a new mask and this time I will do it on color range. I get a pipette. I'll just click on the yellow part on the sign. Then I'll press shift on my keyboard to have the additional color selector. If I increase saturation now I can get that sign to pop. Finally I will do a last color range mask. I'll click on her I'll click on her jeans. Now you can see that way too much is actually selected but the color range filter also has a refine slider so if I drag that to the left I end up with more or less only her trousers. Now I can just increase the saturation to make her jeans pop and as easily as that I can add filters based on color or luminosity. That's as quickly as possible I can show you some of the new masking features in Lightroom. It truly are amazing times we are living in with these new AI and machine learning. It's kind of hard to know where we're gonna go with this. Leave a comment below what you feel about these new changes. I would love to discuss that with you. As always, thank you very much for watching. Until next time.